Hello YouTube, this is Mike with HHO Connection. I want to talk to you guys today about the EBN dry cells. Uh, for those of you out there who do know me already, I'm a huge fan of the EBN dry cells. Uh, by far my number one pick. I think that is the way to go. I think everything about EBN is definitely the way to go. That being said, uh, Rob with Higher Powered H2O brought up a good point about the EBN cells. Um, they are set up you know, pretty much for experimenters to play around with them. Um, that's why they have the tab set up the way they do. Uh, Rob brought up a point about installing them and that the amount of wires that you have to connect might be a little inconvenient for the installer. Uh, he came up with a different design that was a little more installer friendly and looking at his design inspired me to come up with something. Um, this is the way the EBN cells typically hook up or at least they do out of the box. You have to take I take 8 gauge wire and I take the standard electrical connectors and I connect uh, three negatives with two positives. Um, and it leaves you with this stack of wires that you got to figure out where that's going to go. Hang on a second. I am going to cut the camera for a minute, go in for some close ups, and I'll show you what the solution that I came up with. Okay, so this is my solution that I came up with. I took the standard electrical connectors down here that were the little paddle connectors that slipped over the tabs, and I butted those up with a round connector. I got a, um, a smaller diameter um, paddle connector that took a, that took a smaller it took a smaller wire then I took a, uh, a round connector that accepted a thicker cable and just slid the two into each other. I'll show you more details on that in just a minute. And then I soldered the two connectors together, put a little shrink wrap over them and then that formed you know three holes that I could just then insert a, uh, a brass bolt through with nuts on either side to, to hold it down and then my uh, my last connector will go right here. This will be my positive connection and I'll see if I can't turn this thing around. You can see the other side now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see this is my negative connectors. I have two, I have two negatives down here. Now I'm going to cut the camera again. I'm going to show you how I, um, the, the exact pieces that I used to put this together, how I put it together, and how I soldered the pieces together. So once again, uh, I hope this is going to help. Okay, in order to make the electrical connectors, these are, these are the components that I ended up using. I just went down to our local hardware store, the Dewitt Center down the street, and I bought these connectors. These are the, uh, the paddle type connectors. I guess if you want to get technical, it looks like a disconnect F. And this one takes 16 to 14 gauge wire. It has a real small um, uh, place where you put the wire in those. And then the round connectors I got, these accept a 10 to 12 gauge wire. Uh, these are the biggest ones that I could find. I would probably recommend something even a little bit bigger than that. If you can get one that will take an 8 gauge wire, that would probably be even better. But anyway, that's what I used for those. And so it's that piece there and this piece here. And what I do is I come in, I take my snips, and I just clip this little guy like this. Ah, excuse the noise there. That's my soldering gun falling. Anyway, and I just pull these little plastic pieces off like that get rid of those. Do the same on this side. Yeah. Bear with me. This one's being a little stubborn, but you get the idea. Here. Okay, so it's gone too. All right, so now you have these two pieces. I simply put that piece in there like that. Okay. Make sure they're both square that way. Now I'm just going to lay that piece flat like that, and I'm going to solder these two pieces together. Okay, so I got my solder gun out. I'm just going to apply a little bit of heat to it right there, let it warm up a bit. Get that solder on there. Goes. Fill in down there a little bit, and voila. Okay, the last thing that I want to do to this connector is I want to put some heat shrink around it. So just take a very small piece of heat shrink and I'm going to slide it right over this end here, like so. Take a lighter to it. And there we go. Now that you've made your electrical connectors, this is the way that I put them on, uh, you know, whatever works for you, but this, this seemed to work okay for me. Um, take, your brass, take your brass bolt, put your first connector on, follow it up with a nut, 
throw in another nut, followed by a connector, and another nut past that. You get the idea. Another nut, your connector that's going to go to your main lead in, and then your last electrical connector with your final nut. Again, I've got all these loose so I can move these around. Now all you got to do is just find the right tabs that they need to go on. I know these two outside ones go on the outer tab, and I happen to know this one goes right in the middle here. So just wiggle those guys on. A little tricky, and there we go. Now all you got to do is tighten down these nuts. I'm going to get a wrench, take care of that. There you go. Just happened to find 11 millimeter works really good with this one. And you get the idea. We're just going to snug these guys down. And then my positive lead is going to get my negative lead is going to go here. My positive lead is going to go for these two back here. Once again, there's the final design. So now you've just got two wires coming in without all that mess that you had up here. These are just to give you a couple more close up views of exactly what I did. So, that's it for my idea about how to uh, make it a little easier for the installation process with the EBN cells. I hope this helps, and be sure and go to my website. We actually have, uh, I got five more dry cells right now that are assembled, ready to go, if you want to buy some of those off of me. And uh, we'll have the unassembled units, more of those coming very soon. So, please go to HHO Connection and uh, get your EBN cells. Thanks, YouTube.